Hi, grade two, and welcome to our math lesson for today. We have been practicing division and multiplication over the last little while. And today we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to be dividing in a different way. Division, so far we have been practicing dividing numbers into equal parts. That's an important part. Uh, to, uh, that's an important idea to remember for the next step in our math. I'm going to share my screen with you and I have a question for you. If you only had one of something, how would you share it? Let's take this orange for an example. How would you share one orange? Okay, you're right. It depends on how many people you will be sharing it with and how easily it is to eat that section. Okay, I heard you, I, I think that I heard you say that we could cut the orange in half. That's an important word for our lesson. We could cut it in half, or some of you might have said, we could cut it into fourths or quarters. You're right, we could do that. Some of you might be even thinking of more section or more pieces, like thirds or fifths, or maybe even eighths. Now you're talking the language that you need to be talking for this lesson. How about this? If you looked at these foods, like this bowl of grapes or this, ap this apple, or maybe this apple, corn on the cob or an egg shell, some spinach, I think that's spinach, maybe it's lettuce, oh, a whole tray of brownies butternut squash, or banana. Now, if you look at these images and, the, and, that, and notice that they are split into sections, into parts, each of these whole, whole pieces, uh, or whole of something, are divided. They are split. They are made into parts. Let's go through each of them, and, one, and I'm wondering if you could tell me if each of the parts are equal. So each of these is split into two parts. Tell me, is it an equal half or not? How about this bowl of grapes? Is that, are those equal halves? You're right, it's not. How about this banana? Is this a fair share for each part? You're right, it is not. This butternut squash, is it split right in half? No, if half means that each of the two parts are equal, this is not. How about this apple? You're right, it is not. And this one at the top, this apple, Yes, that is right. They are equal halves. How about this corn on the cob? Right again. Yes, they are equal parts. And this egg? It's hard to tell because one side of the egg is kind of more narrow than the other, but it does look like it is split in half, yes. And how about these, this bunch of spinach or this lettuce? You're right, it is not. That's an important idea or, I, or, or concept to know for today's lesson. We are starting fractions. And before you get afraid of the word fraction, don't be. It's this is the next step of, of learning after division. Fractions are part of a whole thing. Today we're going to be practicing fractions, the kind of fractions that talk about a whole 
being split into equal parts or fair shares, if you think of it as food. Some of the fractions that we are going to be practicing are half, fourth, eighth, third, sixth, and fifth. We won't get into it now, but I do want you to notice that some of the fraction names are attached with each other. And fifth is on its own. Let's think about that a little bit more. When you think of a part of a whole thing, think of something, maybe you want to think about something that, that I usually think of that helps me to remember. I think of food that you can split into different pieces and you will want to make them as equal in their pieces as possible. Think of pizza, an orange like we talked about, or brownies. We also talked about that. Now on page 244 of your Math Makes Sense book this week or today, you will be practicing fractions of a whole. So when you look at each of these pictures, it might help you to imagine what they might be if they were food. Maybe this is a whole long tray of jello. And maybe this is a cake or a cupcake. Maybe this square is a sandwich. Now, after you have imagined it and made it a little bit more fun, I would like you to write, to write if each figure is in halves, thirds, or fourths. Now, this is the time where I want to explain a little bit more of that. Maybe you already know this and that's fine. It's good to be reminded. When you hear the word has, it talks about two pieces. When you hear the word thirds, it sounds, it, it has the number of pieces that its word matches. Thirds matches with three. And same thing for fourths, its word matches with its number. Fourth matches with four pieces. Now, you need to fill in the blank for each of the images. It says this is in how many? Halves, thirds, or fourths? There are how many equal parts? For the next one, the circle. It is divided into a number of, it is divided into parts. This is in halves, thirds, or fourths? There are how many equal parts? Finally, this is in halves, thirds, or fourths. There are how many equal parts? Pretty straightforward, but if you have any questions, please ask so that you will understand it the best. Now, this next page it says coloring fractions. You get to do some coloring. You need to color the number of pieces, the number of parts that, are that you are instructed in each of the boxes. The first one says color one fourth. So you are going to color that number of pieces that matches with the word fourth, one fourth. It says color one half of this figure. And the circle, it says color two thirds. And the final figure, it says color three fourths. All right, and once you're finished that for today, then you are finished your math. Have a great day and enjoy learning about fractions. I hope you don't get too hungry. <laughs>